finding out firsthand right now really what, what Neil's meant to me. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how long you play or, or what level you've reached or how much success you've had as a player, coaching is totally different. This is a great honor and I truly appreciate it. I first came to Grand Junction 41 years ago as a player in the World Series to be named to the all-tournament team, lead the tournament in hitting, and being named the MVP was a great thrill. I then had the opportunity to play here in the summer of 1976 for the Grand Junction Eagles Collegiate Summer Team and found out what a great place Grand Junction truly is. In 2007, I had the opportunity to return as I was named to the 50th Golden Anniversary All-Time Team. Now this honor tops it off. From being honored as a player to now being honored as a coach is truly exciting. You know, I mean, you look at the guy, and he's more in shape than 90% of his players. Um, always maintains a great tan. But, uh, no, he's a great guy. He was, he was a great coach. We had a lot of fun, a lot of good road trips. You know, he doesn't just, doesn't just bring baseball talent skills. He wants you to play with integrity and play the game the right way. You know, Neil's got the reputation as, as an intense guy. Um, you know, I always make the comment that he, that he eats, sleeps, and breathes baseball. Um, you know, every day it's, it's about fundamentals and, and playing the game right. Uh, there's not a lot of flash. There's not a lot of... Uh, you know, outside the line stuff. It's when you when you get on the field, you you play the game hard and you play the game right, and, and things will be think good things will happen. I believe a coach is a combination of all the coaches he has played for and learned from in the past. Through my coaching years, I've been very fortunate to have played for and learned from five Hall of Fame coaches. First, my dad, who was a member of the St. Louis Amateur Baseball Hall of Fame, who taught me the basics about baseball when I was young. Second, Paul Fultz also a St. Louis Hall of Fame member who I learned a lot of the basics from also and really learned how to run a team from. Third, Rick Lessman of Merrimack Junior College, a member of this JUCO Coaches Hall of Fame, who I played for here during the 1975 World Series. I was also an assistant for him three years in the late 1980s. Fourth, it's Jones, a College Coaches Hall of Fame member who I had the opportunity to play for at Southern Illinois Carbondale, where we played in the 1977 NCAA World Series, finishing third. I then was his assistant at the University of Illinois for three years, starting in 1991. And last, for Major League Hall of Famer Whitey Herzog, who I played for with the St. Louis Cardinals in 1981, and they had the opportunity to watch him up close in St. Louis for many years. All the people I still ask questions of from time to time when I need help. Hitting was the main reason I wanted to play college baseball. Um, but Neil saw me pitch, and you know I was a lefty hitting the mid to upper 80s, and he said, you know, that's pretty much it. Your hitting days are over. You're going to focus 90% on pitching and 10% on hitting. And I remember that being a very, I remember that being a very, very tough, you know, tough thing for me to swallow. Um, but then I look at it now, and I say, well, this is the man that made the decision to force me to be a pitcher, and now I'm pitching for the Boston Red Sox in the major leagues. So, you know, the influence there for him to see what he saw and have it take me to where I am. Now, it's got a lot to do with where I'm at today because he could have let me keep hitting and I would have went to another college after I left Swick and, you know, been doing, you know, the regular nine to five, which is absolutely fine. But to be able to live the dream I'm having because he forced me to be a pitcher is, is definitely going to always be special. I think one of Neil's greatest assets when I went to go play pro ball, um, outside of the physical um, attributes that I had, I was ready mentally because, you know, like him, you know, I, did, I wanted to do nothing but play baseball. And... And I think being around a coach of, of, of his caliber at the junior college level, coach his caliber at, at the D1 level, and then a coach that's also been in pro ball, um, plus playing it, you know, his experience has rubbed off enough to where I knew what I wanted and I knew what the work was going to was gonna be like, you know, when I was in junior college that, that really paid off for me when I got there. I also want to thank Southwestern Illinois College for giving me the opportunity 23 years ago to become the head coach. They gave me the chance to turn a struggling program into one of the top JUCO baseball programs in the country. Finally, thank you to my family for supporting me with baseball all these years, both as a player and as a coach. Without their support, this never would have happened. Thank you very much. I couldn't be more happy for him. You know, he's worked at Swick alone 20 plus years. You know, he's got a, a boatload of wins. I know he's got over a thousand for his career, right around a thousand, and he's got, you know, 800 here or more. He's doing a great job, and he's done a great job. He's influenced and impacted so many baseball lives throughout the game, and, and it's just, uh, it's, it's well-deserved, very well-deserved. I couldn't be happier for him.
players he's helped. I mean, you can look at these walls right here, um, me included. Uh, I think it speaks for itself. You know, still be doing it at his age and, and, and where he's at in his life, where he'd probably be retired and, you know, on a boat somewhere, he's he's still doing it. And I think that just that speaks volumes about what kind of guy he is. He was, he was a great guy to play for. You know, he, he expected out of his players what he looked for in baseball. He was always, you know, anything he asked of us, he was doing himself. He would, he'd run the miles with us around the track. He'd, you know, be there at practice, you know, at practice with us. Great instructor, great guy, and he made you play the game the right way, you know, with integrity. You know, he taught you the game of baseball. It wasn't just about hitting the home runs or, or you know, striking out the hitters. It was about playing the game the right way and being a good teammate. You know, he wasn't just molding baseball players. He was molding, you know, molding adults, and he did a great job. You know, if we really had to sum it up in one in one thing, you know, what Neil's meant to me or, or my career, it's it's just always being a phone call away and uh, not just being a guy that I played for, but being a friend.